Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use a different approach. This time we want to press the button and also the LED shall be lit for a certain amount of time, but we want to be able to prolong this with the press of the button. Okay? We want the Arduino not to be bricked during this time, we want to have it react reacting. There is an old video about this, where I'm using a certain solution. You can watch this. Now I'm trying to do it a different way. I'm trying to base it on our program with the light memory. You know, press the button, light on, press the button a second time, light off. So I've opened this program now here. I will save it under the new name, save as. And I will call it 8 Stairway Responsive. Okay, Stairway Responsive. Okay, so actually the first things are pretty much the same. Yeah, so at the beginning it is low and I'm waiting for the button press. Okay, however, this time I am saving the time when the button was pressed. So I will use it, I will use a function, it's called millis. This is the function I'm using. This millis is returning how many milliseconds the Arduino is already running. Okay, if you plug it in, it will start to count at zero and it will count every millisecond up, 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 up. Okay? If you press reset or restart or reload a program, it will be reset to zero again and will be counting up, 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 up. What is returned at this millis? Huh? Is a so called unsigned long variable, number. Yeah? Unsigned, not plus or minus, only plus, and long would mean 4 bytes, 4 bytes, 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit, 8 bit, 32 bits, okay? So if you calculate this, how many, how many numbers we can count with 4 bytes? So it's 2 raised by the power of 32. Huh? This would be the maximum amount of milliseconds what we can count. Huh? <coughs> After 4,249,976,296 milliseconds, this counter would again start at zero without resetting. Okay? So this is the amount of milliseconds. If we divide this by 1000, this would be the seconds. If we divide this by 3600, this would be the hours. So it's 1,193 hours. Yeah? divided by 24 hours per day, so it's 79.71 days, uh, 49, sorry, 49, 49.71 days. Uh, so after roughly 50 days, this will start to get zero again, even without touching. Uh, so it can happen, but you know, once in a while. So I'm using this millis. And I will use a static unsigned long and I will call this press time. And this press time at the begin I will make this zero and this press time I will simply save this. If the button is pressed I will say press time equals millis. Okay. For output, uh, button pressed at, and now we'll write press time. Milliseconds. Okay, 
just to show you what inside is this meal is, I will simply write serial.printl yeah, millis and just upload this yeah. open the serial monitor and then we should see ooh yeah here we go yeah. so this here now the milliseconds are simply counting yeah. see it's right now 10 10 seconds already passed okay so yeah remove this again this is what Millis is returning, simply a number. Yeah? And I will save this here. Button pressed at that many milliseconds. Okay. In current step 10, we are waiting until we release the button again. Yeah? We will turn on the LED yeah? and then we are waiting until we are releasing the button. Okay. This is the same. This is absolutely the same. Uh, and in K in now 20 we are not waiting until we press the button well if we press the button we simply say this press time equals millis okay so this we can do but we will not change the step we will only change the step if this last press time is that long in the in the past so if the current millis millis huh, minus press time which was the millis in the past huh, is bigger than uh, well I will again define here a new value, I will call it light time. Yeah. We'll again, make this 5000 for testing. If this is longer than this 5000, yeah, then this, the current step is the next one. Okay. Current step is 30. This here. else here we'll make some outputs serial.print waiting serial.print uh, millis Light time. Ah, come on. Light time minus, and now this here. This should bring now how many, how many milliseconds we will still wait. And here we will turn off the turn off the LED again. And waiting for the button to be released. Hmm. I think this should do the trick. Let's upload this. In it done. I press the button button pressed aha look waiting it's counting down it's counting down there it is turning off oh and you see <laughs> quite a big number at the, at the end yeah, because it's below zero turning and now i can press and you see it will start with every press it will start again at five seconds okay so now i can prolong this time this is a big difference okay 
There's a big difference. So now the Arduino is responsive and can do its tasks, whatever they are, whatever you can think of, even if it's just waiting for turning off the LED. From time to time it watches the clock and see, uh-huh, it still has to be turned on. Pa, pa, pa. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. You could try. What you could try is that you press the button, the LED is on, and after this adjusted delay time, the LED is turning off again. Okay. What you could do is that you do not prolong the time, but you can actively turn it off. Yeah? So if you press the button, it will lit for the adjusted amount of time. Yeah? And then if you press the button and during the LED is still on, you press the button a second time, it will automatically turn off. Yeah. This would be a nice exercise, which could be done based on this program rather easy. Okay. Yeah. So now we know how to make a program responsive, even if we are just waiting. And now we could think about what we can do to adjust this time. You know, right now we can adjust this time by changing this, this compile time constant. This is not convenient. If you, if you go somewhere, yeah, you have to download the program again. And if you want to have it, I don't know, 10 seconds longer, you have to download the, upload the program again. And, it would be nice if we can adjust it, if our program supports adjusting the time. How this is done, how this might be done, I'll show you in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.